Two force members seem to be a hard concept for many students to grasp. I won't go into too much detail about them, but I will share these three important points about them. It's always important to try and find them because they will simplify your free body diagrams. The three points are force is applied at two points on a member. A good example of this is when there is a bar with just two pin reactions on it. There can be no applied moment along the member. And this is saying that there can't be any kind of torque on the member because this will alter the amount or the direction of the force. And the direction of the two forces will pass through the two points where the forces are applied. This makes it really nice because basically means that the direction of the force resultant of the two force members is going in that specific direction. Now let's look at an example problem and try to understand the concept. If we have this particular bar here and we want to find the forces acting on the bar ABC, we can first start with our normal force at A, our roller reaction at B, and our pin reaction at C. But now we notice that we have four unknowns and there are only three equations summing forces in the x, y directions and taking a moment about any particular point. So it would be unsolvable without the help of a two force member. We notice that bar CD fulfills the requirement for being a two force member. There are only two points where the forces act on the bar and there is no applied moment on the, to the bar. Since we know it is a two force member, we can now draw one force going through points C and D. And we limit our unknowns to three. This makes the problem solvable.